Definitely liking this a lot, for sure. Foundation, this foundation just, just did. I don't think that the found that this time as I'm sure you've seen in the title I'm doing a review of the cashmere complexion foundation and concealer that Avon just came out with um, they have 30 shades from light all the way to dark they're long wear and full coverage I'm going to do a wear test today so I'm going to try and wear this for as long as possible so I can kind of give you guys an idea of how well this foundation and concealer wears. I'm gonna actually go ahead and speed on through my primer and then we will begin the foundation. Let's go. Now that I have my primers on, I am going to take my beauty I'm going to use my beauty sponge. I have it wet and I'm going to use oh now I'm going to put on my foundation. Again, this is the Cashmere Complexion line that Avon just launched. It's a long wear foundation. You can wear it for it. They say it's a 24 hour foundation. So I'm going to put it to the test. I'm going to be using the shade Marshmallow. They have 30 shades. So there should be a shade for everyone. Um, that was definitely their goal was to have a shade for everyone. But it's got this nice big doe foot applicator and I'm just going to dot some around my face. Well, so far I think it's looking pretty nice. I think I might add just a tiny bit more on my cheeks for a little bit of more of a full coverage look. But it definitely blended out really nice. Like my skin still looks like my skin. Definitely liking this a lot for sure. So again, I'm just going to add a little bit more just in the areas where I feel I need a little bit more coverage just like that. I think I'm gonna stick with that. Let's see. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This is the second time I'm using this. However, the first time I used it, I was sort of like just getting ready to walk out the door. So I didn't really have much time to kind of like really look at it, if that makes sense. I don't think that the applicator I was using the first time gave this particular foundation any justice so I wanted to try this one out to see and I am I'm definitely liking this applicator a lot better for this foundation I haven't tried a brush so I'm not really sure how that would apply this foundation so we mm, could definitely go for that but I know when I watched a video they used this one so I figured I'll try it out see I'm I'm like super excited about this now I'm gonna go in with their cashmere complexion long wear concealer and this is in the shade mochi they also have a pretty good selection of concealers and I will drop a picture here of the concealer shades that they offer as well. So I'm going to go ahead and apply. This one also has a doe foot applicator. Uh, well, it's, I don't actually, I don't know what name you would call this applicator. It's very flexible. I don't do a lot of concealer. I don't think you need to use a lot of concealer. So um, yeah, 
I'm gonna show you what I do. So I just do kind of like two dots there, one dot here, and then I flip it over to the other side. Again, two dots, and then one. And then I'll go back in, get a little bit more so that I can do the rest of my face. Um, so I went with a lighter shade, so it would be more like a highlight. Um, you could do kind of like one shade lighter than your foundation to get just like a concealer shade, or you can do two shades lighter to get more of a highlighted shade, which will just like brighten the center of your face. And that's what I like, so that's what I did. And if you have like blemishes that are around your face, you can always like just go and dot them to kind of give them a little bit more coverage. And for doing blemishes, you would want to use like your foundation shade of a concealer or the shade lighter to give it, to, to blend it a little bit better with the foundation. For under my eye, I like to use my ring finger to blend it out. whatever is kind of left over and just cover your eyelid to conceal any of those like veins that are on your eyelid or any discoloration or anything like that. There you have it. That's one eye. I absolutely love this concealer. Same thing on the other side, ring finger and just dot it out. For the rest of my face, I'm just going to use my beauty sponge to blend it out. Before we move on to bronzer and blush and all of that, I'm going to quickly uh, set my under eyes and I'm going to just, I have a lot of creases under my under eyes so they tend to crease pretty easily so I like to do that first before I move on so that it's easier to blend out before it kind of, you know, sets in, if that makes sense. Um, so I'm just going to press those out really quick and then use my Avon True Color Translucent Pressed Powder. And another trick that I have is when you are applying your pressed powder or your setting powder, kind of look downwards so that your under eyes are stretched open so that the powder can get all the way in those creases. I'm going to go in with my Avon True Color uh, Sun Kissed Bronzing Curls. I just kind of ease that as my contour today because I mean, let's be honest, it's we're not going anywhere. We're quarantined, so who cares, right? So I'm just gonna kind of go where my contour would be. And this one is a very, it has a very pearly finish. It's got a nice sheen to it. If you see, it kind of just gives a little bit right there. Not much, but just enough. Okay, so can you tell the difference between the bronze side and the non-bronze side? Just a, just a hint. And I like that. And I like the sun-kissed one because it makes it look like you were 
in the sun. Okay, so now I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take a little bit and just kind of go over the bridge of my nose and right here to add to that sun-kissed effect. You know, like a, in a W. And so next I'm gonna do my blush. I'm going to be using my Avon Blush of Hope in the shade Radiant Blush. Looks like this. I'm just gonna take a little swirl. Do the apples of my cheeks. I like to start here and then just kind of work it up a little bit. I'm going for a more natural look today, so I'm not gonna put a lot What's left on the brush, I'm just gonna put on my nose. Just a little bit. Then, we're gonna do a little bit of highlight, and I'm gonna use, I'm actually gonna use my Avon True Color, uh, this is the, uh, what's it called? So I'm gonna be using this Avon True Color Illuminating Stick in the shade Champagne. I'm going to take some on my finger and kind of just do like this and press it into the spots where I want my highlight. to try using the beauty sponge to apply it so I just take a little bit on here and then press it into the high points of my face okay so I really like this one it gives you a very natural kind of a glow to the face not too much I like it you can always build it up to be more this stuff is great and then I'm going to go in with my Avon True Color makeup setting spray to set this down real quick and I'm gonna press it in with my beauty sponge okay all right, so next I'm going to quickly do my brows using my Pro Brow Brush with my Avon True Color Glimmer Sticks uh, brown, or Brow Definer in the shade Brunette. And all the wording rubbed off, so I'm sorry. <laughs> It. that's my brows I'm not like a huge brow person I just like to fill in um, a lot of my bald spots that are blonde hairs they're not bald it's just I don't have thick brows and I have spots where they're very blonde so I just like to make sure I get those filled in um, now I'm going to go in and do just a little bit of eyeshadow I'm gonna use my bronzer and my blush that I used on my face um, because that's what I like to do on um, with a more natural look and then I'll pop on some shimmer on my lid so I'm gonna do a bronzer first as the sort of transition shade and then the blush will be more of like the crease slash eyelid slash whatever I want it to be so I'm just gonna swirl my blending brush into the pearls and do my eyes. that I used going in with the same brush just kind of 
getting the bronzer off of it, although it doesn't really matter too much. Taking a little bit, and I'm gonna go in with the on the crease. kind of a look. It just kind of ties it all together. I don't know. What do you think? Um, I'm going to go and use, I'm going to use my Scent Roses palette and I'm going to pick a shimmer shade to put. I think I'm going to use this shimmer shade on my eyelid and I'm just going to, um, I'm actually, you know what, I'm going to take this packer kind of a brush, grab some on there, and then spray with my setting spray. Super pretty. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Ooh, I feel pretty, oh so pretty. <laughs> I'm gonna do the bottom lashes and then I'm gonna pop on my mascara and then I'm pretty much done. I'm gonna use this smudger brush that I have and with the bronzer and the blush, I'm gonna go under my eyes, super simple. I'm not going all the way through. I'm just sticking to the outer corner and connecting it to the upper lid. And I'm going to take that blending brush and I'm just going to kind of go underneath the eye a little bit just to make sure everything is cohesive. And then I'm going to take the same shimmer shade that I used and put that down the corner. All right, and then I'm going to use my Blush to Love highlighter and blush palette. I'm going to take the highlighter and pop that in the inner corner. Also going to do that on my eyebrow, my brow bone. I'm going to curl my lashes and then put my mascara on. The reason I curl my lashes is because I have very straight lashes. I feel like I have pretty decent length, however they just like to stick straight out, unfortunately, but it is what it is. My daughter, on the other hand, she has like, her eyelashes look like a set of falsies and I kid not at all. She's got perfect lashes. They are perfectly curled, super long. I'm very jealous of hers. dry and then I'll brush it off. <laughs> While that is drying, I'm gonna do my lips and I'm gonna take my Avon True Color Glimmer Sticks Lip Liner in the shade Simply Spice. That's what it looks like. Overlined a tad bit. I can make them even. Um, it's not perfect, but it's just not perfect. Uh, who is though? And um, I'm going to be trying out the um, Avon Times the Face Shop Matte Liquid Lip, and this is the shade Rose and Rose. So 
I'm excited. It's the Ink Tattoo Lip Tint. It's got this really cool doe foot applicator that has like this split sort of in the middle, which is kind of neat. I'll take my finger and kind of press it in. Wow. It's a very light formula. I think it's so nice. I like this. This is nice. I definitely, definitely like this. So they have ink tattoo lip tint in like a glossy formula. Um, so this is the matte. The glossy one is more of a shiny case, but it looks just like this. I have not tried that one out yet, but I've heard great things about both of them. I really, I really like this. Okay, so I'm gonna try and brush that off. Well, I don't think I waited long enough. It didn't, it wasn't really ready. So there's a little bit of a black spot, but other than that, oh, real quick, I'm gonna set my face one more time. And there you have it. This is the finished look. I scooted in a little bit so you can get a closer look of it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to go into the natural light so you can see this in the natural light. And then later on tonight before I take my makeup off, I'm going to record it as well to give you an update on how it wore. It is currently 11.08 AM. So I typically go to bed around 11. So it'll be about a 12 hour wear test. I'm excited. I'll see you guys in just a moment. This is the the look in the natural light. The sun is kind of hidden by clouds right now, but I hope you can see it. Alex! <laughs> That's my son. He's calling me Auntie Allie. Okay. But <laughs> kids. Um, so I really like the finish of this foundation. It's a very natural kind of a look, very skin-like finish, but it does even out your complexion. And I absolutely love that. So uh, yeah. And I will see you guys in the update before I take my makeup off. So, oh, there's the sun again. So, let me know what you think in the comments. I hope you um, are interested in this. If you are, I have my link in the description box down below. And you can get your foundation from me. I have my own online store. So, if you're interested in that, just visit the store or comment down below and I will gladly help you out. So, see you in a little bit. Okay, it is now 11.17 at night. I have given it a whole 12 hours and I gotta say, I'm feeling pretty good about it. I mean, I have oily skin so obviously I knew that my oil would show through which is fine. Um, I do want to say that I have not touched anything up, um, haven't brushed any of my mascara fallout, which do you see how little fallout there actually is? Like only a, literally a couple spots, like pretty good if you ask me. Um, but I mean like everything is still looking really good minus like my chin and my nose where my glasses sit and then, um, I took care of a teething baby today as, oh, as well as my, my uh, three-year-old so I didn't expect my makeup to come out looking perfect at the end of this day so uh, but I am surprised at how well it's held up I mean I felt good I'm kind of like I don't know I'm just kind of letting it speak for itself I feel like for 12 hours, this is pretty good. <laughs> and for all that I've gone through today, I feel like it's pretty good. I mean, I've given, I've given a bath. <laughs> I've done the dishes, helped cook dinner, um, so much. Anyways, um, sorry about my hair. It's just, it's crazy. It is what it is. Um, but yeah, I, I am digging this cashmere complexion foundation and concealer these are wonderful yeah 
I'm gonna go take my makeup off and probably head to bed because it's kind of late. So that is it guys. If you would subscribe, like this video, ring the bell, and leave a comment down below. That would be so awesome. I hope you guys come back for more. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you have any suggestions or anything, any tips for me, that would be great. I I'll take everything I can get. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day or whatever time it is where you are right now. I will see you guys later. Bye!